Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Thank you for coming and watching our YouTube video. Today we have a grinder that was sent to me by a manufacturer for testing. And it's right behind this box right here. Uh, a lot of times, many manufacturers will contact me and ask me to test their equipment. Typically, I will take that equipment home. So for those who ask, hey, Java Jim, what do you have at home? I tell them I have test equipment. Equipment that typically sometimes you cannot buy, and actually most of the time you cannot buy because I'm testing it for the manufacturer. And sometimes that includes manufacturers who we don't even do business with. They send me stuff, I'll agree, sometimes I won't agree. It all depends. Uh, at the end of the day, it's really to make better espresso, make better and more reliable products uh, because for us, that's really important. So a company contacted me in December and that company is Firenzato Grinders. And basically, uh, they were developing a new home model grinder uh, because during COVID-19, um, a lot of that commercial business, what they call in Europe, Horeca, uh, which is hotel, restaurant, catering, that business has gone to the tubes. But the home business has skyrocketed in Europe, skyrocketed in the U.S. So uh, Firenzato switched their gears and went really gung-ho on developing this new grinder called the Old Ground. Now the box is a little messed up because this is a sample grinder. Firenzato has agreed to allow me to share this with you uh, because many times I will not make a video on products that I'm testing. And in fact, uh, for this video, uh, there's no instruction manual, there's no drip tray. Uh, and I really, te I tested the grinder, but without coffee because I wanted to, I, I check things to see how it works without grinding a coffee. So in this video, you will see for the very first time how we grind the coffee. And I didn't say espresso coffee because this is their all ground model. You may have seen this online already, but uh, this is a nice heavy weight grinder. Um, and basically this grinder here is for uh, multi brew methods and we have a removable hopper. Uh, there is a screw to hold it here, but there's no screw in here. And I'm, I really don't care about that. Uh, I don't prefer the holding screw anyway, but the grinder is made for espresso, mocha, and filter. It is not stepless. It's micrometrical step. So you can hear the changes and there is no knob to lock it. Uh, it's basically spring tension that holds it into position. And there is a touch pad right here. There's also a canister to grind for your mocha or uh, all filter types. And also a little cap that goes on top. And if you look, there's like a little squeegee sound right here. But uh, basically this, I like this little tool right here because you can grind right in and it fits the spout here, which means less mess, but you also have a portafilter fork. It is a little bit on the wide side. I'm okay with that. Uh, basically, so accommodates uh, other types of uh, filter handles from your espresso machines. But, and this is also adjustable up and down. And there's a holding clip right here for that as well. So uh, what's really nice about this grinder uh, is also the nice switch that they use on the side. And somebody shut the power off on me. How's that? Anyways, uh, just to uh, get started here, if you look right here, you can see all the different adjustments. And if we go all the way to the red arrow, we press the red dot and voila, the top cover comes off. The top burr carrier comes off. And as you could see, if you know what these are, comment down below these burrs right here. Let me know what you think of these burrs, what they are, and not only what they are, but why they are or are not important. In my book, uh, they are important, but not always for what people think they are important for. 
So in here, uh, you see there is no threads, okay? And a lot of grinders, uh, when you have threading in, inside the chamber and in the top burr carrier, when you're going to the coarser setting, the coffee grinds get into the threads and locks up the top burr carrier. And sometimes it damages the top burr carrier. So they've really been very, uh, how could I say, genius uh, in their thinking and developing this new um, type of design at Firenzato. And then just to put it back, we slide that back in. We align the red arrow to the red. Okay, hit the button right there. And look how simple that is, okay, for quick adjustments. All right, let's take a close-up look once I get some electricity. So again, no instruction manual, uh, so I kind of have to figure this out. Turn the power on, and you'll get a QR code there. So I guess they're trying to save some paper, but we still got to print it anyway. Uh, there'll be a little film that'll come off. Uh, when I was testing without coffee, basically, um, it still works with the film on top and it says they're all ground. Now, let me turn the dial. This is in filter mode. Okay. And then look, I got to mocha mode. Now I'm just heading over to espresso mode. Okay. Let me press the button there. Okay, that's the manual. Hold. Touch pads don't like my fingers. Okay, so the hopper uh, doesn't have to be in while you're um, grinding. So let's put that in and make sure you don't stick your fingers inside. Hopefully that's a warning that they put in the instruction manual. And let's hold this button here. So there's our single dose button. Okay, if we wanna increase it, typically for a single dose, it's usually about six seconds, five to six. Okay, hit okay. Hold the double cup. And I'll take that to See, so I can press it there. Take that to about 12 seconds. Hit OK. So let's try the single. And as you can see, it's a countdown going down. And that's an espresso mode. So say I want to add a little more, I can hold it in and let go. So touchpad's pretty responsible. Responsible. Responsive. And let me turn the settings over to Mocha. Okay, we can hold that button in there. Okay, so no remembering or programming of the Mocha. Let's go over to filter. So that one, I let go and then hit the stop. Let's go back to Mocha. So if you notice, Mocha I have to hold, again, no instruction manual, and this is part of the testing that I do to learn about the equipment. In, in the Mocha mode, I have to hold it. If I let go, it basically will stop. But if I go to filter mode up here, oh, now it works this way. Okay, if you notice, they don't have a period there. In Europe, a comma is a period. So in filter mode and mocha mode, you can use this container. And basically what's nice is it fits up against here. In espresso mode, we basically put the portafilter here. Now see this 
is too low, we would get an Allen key screw, raise this up, and then it would hold right here. So again, the wider uh, portafilter forks uh, can accommodate uh, maybe some other type of portafilters uh, that might have less distance here and are closer up. So uh, another good little uh, thought process. And that's the hardest part for these grinder manufacturers is trying to accommodate so many different espresso machines. So let's get some coffee beans in the hopper. So we're in all filter here. Press the button. No beans are coming out. We got to pull the stopper here. Press that button eight seconds. And basically that's our all filter coffee. Looks pretty good to me. Knock that out. Put this back in here. I'm gonna use the same coffee beans. Let's go over. Okay, now the one thing I always say is change the settings while it's grinding. So see how it locked up? Okay, let's go a little more. Now, the reason is because the two burrs are flat and you have grinds between there. So if you try to go finer, you're compressing it. That's why it's having a hard time and that's why I choked it. So this is some of the feedback that we'll be giving back to Firenzato and they'll probably be watching this video as well. Okay. So another way to do it is just put the amount of coffee you want to grind inside uh, and then try to get everything out. So let's try to do this. So now I went to espresso and let's go back here. Okay, so now it's a little different. Let me go up to here. Okay, let's look at the grind quality here. Pretty consistent. Grinder does grind pretty fast. And there's a cap that you can put on here too as well, which is a nice little feature. Let's put that back in. Let's see how far we can go. So see how we can't go? Now we're in espresso mode. And we're going to take it down to the finest. This is almost like talcum powder here. Wow. This is, this is almost like Turkish grind. Practically is. Okay, so the one of the things I always suggest to customers, always, if you're changing the settings, have the grinder running, especially in going the direction of a finer grind. Coarser, not a problem. Finer, see now it's working because this is... There's really no compression going on between the burrs. So let's, uh, let's grind the rest of this coffee out. A little bit of popcorning going on, but that all cleared, which is nice. Popcorning is when the beans are bouncing up and down. Okay, let's take the hopper off. And this grind is 
unbelievably fine. Definitely Turkish. Now let's take a look on the inside. So we'll go to the coarser setting. Take it out. And if you look here, looks good. And if you look on the inside, there's very little residual on the inside here. So, whoa, little secret I just learned there. Now we're gonna end up weighing that later on today to see that's our residual that's inside there. Again, no instructions. Very, very interesting. It's held in by a magnet. And I'm assuming that's the clean to shoot. Look at that. So again, we're gonna weigh this and see how much residual we have. This, this may be a phenomenal grinder. If you look here, it says warning. Let's put that back in there. Still says warning. Let's see if we can put this back in. See, this is the testing that you do. So the top burr carry is not in. Let's get that back in. Let's get this back in. And the warning message is gone. So some stuff that we learned during testing, again, no instruction manual by Firenzato. So, um, Hopefully they share one with me. I'm going to go to the QR code and, and, and get it down. But just out of the box, phenomenal little grinder, especially. Let me get that. I'm actually going to add a little more to the uh, residual. That's pretty much it. So I just went to go weigh the residual. Okay, I actually added a little bit from there. Uh, my scale is showing me less than a gram, so it can't even register. The scale measures one gram minimum. I'm not even registering that uh, of the grounds that I took out. So I'm actually quite pleased with this uh, grinder. Uh, the other thing is this little contraption here on top of the container. Uh, nice plastic there. Uh, I don't think it's dishwasher safe. But the other thing I was looking at was, okay, if we insert this this way, it fits in. If we take this and put it the wrong way, okay, it still fits, but not perfect. So I think Firenzato will have to make a little bit of improvement, or you're just going to have to remember that this portion is near the top. And why? It's the way the chute, okay, no warning signal by removing this. If you look, the way the chute fits in that way. So um, it's definitely gonna go this way when it gets inserted. Okay, bean hopper. Now, the other thing I recommended to Firenzato uh, before this video is to have some type of system to blow out the residual coffee grinds. Okay, so uh, yeah, even though there's less than a gram, there's still some there. And what is the best mechanism? So probably gonna be an optional solution by them, I hope, uh, but something that I advise them that they need to look at from, from taking this from a, a very, very, very good grinder to a great grinder. Because if they develop that, Major thumbs up for you and for us. And carrying other Firenzato grinders, the issues are so minimal. Uh, so it's also a very, very reliable grinder. And again, it is on the heavy side. Um, and I'm not sure about the height. We'll come with that later. But I prefer that they get this under 17, which I'm not 100% sure yet. Again, still testing you are probably going to see this as the first here at first line unless some others in europe came out with a video before me but uh, a very very good versatile 
all-purpose grind dirt called all grounds or all ground let me take a look here all ground and pretty decent box you know a lot of manufacturers in Europe they just have plain brown boxes but here they put some effort into it so if you have any questions or comments please ask down below this products not even on our website so please ask down below I'll be trying to uh, answer those questions I might not be able to answer everything but I will try to answer any questions that you have but if you're looking for a grinder start thinking about this little grinder right here because uh, the grind quality is double thumbs up. Once again, Java Gym with first line equipment. Thank you for watching this unscripted video. Please give me a thumbs up down below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video with your friends and neighbors and any other espresso enthusiasts. Once again, have a great day. Coffee first, which is right here, coffee first, everything else second.